I got fired from MUDs because, because there was two students sleeping on watch. You got to understand, third phase is designed to be, um, to, to be treated like it's a FOB, a forward operating base, right? Mm -hmm. That's the whole point of going out there is that you're learning how to operate outside of a FOB, you know, and then come back and that's, that's kind of developing that in the psyche. So when we go do what we do, we kind of get it, right? Yeah. Oh, this is familiar, you know? So, so that's what we're doing. Well, these slip knots, <laughs> uh, one, one is on his iPhone, like at four o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, I'm coming out of the hell box and I see, and I look and I go, uh, one's asleep and one's on his phone. Just kind of doing whatever. So I was like, okay. So I go back into the hell box, which is the instructor's, you know, area. And I grab, I grab a M4 paint rifle, blue, blue barrel, and I light them up, right? Paying attention to their eyes and all these types of things. I, I shot them in the back of the calves, kept everything low. There was a desk, so any ricochets wouldn't hit him in the face. I, I wasn't just completely, you know, you know. So, so, but, but I let him up, and they're standing there, and I'm like, so. What's the most expensive thing that you guys are protecting right now? You know, this is a fob, right? And they're like, yes, chief. And I'm like, okay. This is a fob, and what's the most expensive thing you're protecting on this fob? And the guy's like, one guy goes, the weapons. Another guy's like, no, the demo. I'm the demo instructor. The demo. And I'm like, guys, we have absolutely failed you. This training has absolutely failed you. I'd be pissed. What about those guys that are sleeping in that fucking hut over there in case harm's way comes. What's to stop me from going in there and killing every one of those dudes? Sound? Oh, sound? Really, sir? I grab a Sharpie. I, I take the lid off. I go, follow me. And I fucking draw a line across every other dude's necks while he's asleep. I was like, go try it. See how easy it is when they trust you. It's like, I don't want to do that. I was like, no, you need to do it to see how easy it is and you'll never forget it. He goes in, he does it. I was like, well, he's like, you can see the weight of it on him. And I was like, all right, go on. Go to the beach, grab your shit, go to Camp Stupid. You know what I mean? Yeah. Grab two other dudes, put them on watch. Without saying shit to them, without saying shit, these kids put watch on the watch with a radio. They set an OP on the watch so that they could, now they're thinking like seals, right? They put watch on the watch so they could see and report what's going on. They put early warning devices on the doors and windows of the barracks. So if you come in, like knock shit over and like wakes everybody up without telling them how, you know? Invariably, you know how the, uh, anyway. Um, so, so, so those dudes were excited about that training point. They were like, holy shit. They were talking about it. I thought all the buds was gonna be like this. I thought it was gonna be like this the whole time. It's fucking awesome, no right? Shit. Well, one of the, one of the other guys heard it and now understand i'm i'm not easy to be around at this point i'm not yeah and i know it i knew i was a ticking bomb and then he yells al akbar at me and fucking there was moments of blacking out
It was only going to take the... That's why they stuck me on the fucking island. I just put them on the fucking island. <laughs> you know? I was a ticking bomb. I knew it. I could feel it. Like, all it was going to take was the wrong, you know, indiscretion. You know, somebody grabbing a woman or, or doing something. And it was always towards that. It was never like, I'm just going to go nuts. It was always towards like injustice type stuff, like crime and these types of things. And like, you know, people, it, it was always in a protecting type of thing. That was the biggest thing. It was always like, I always wanted to protect. And, and that's what drove all of it. Might not look like that, but it was. Um, and so, so and, and my way of training people, yeah, it's outside the box. I, to this day, I still thought that was a really good training point. I think it is. You know, but 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 I, I feel like because I think outside the box on how that that training went, I feel like we can have we can have a better product at the end of the day, and that just didn't fit. You know, at the end of the day, it just didn't fit with what was going on around me, and that's that's on me, my situational awareness on how to be more additive to what was going on was not there. You know, it was like, it should be like this. You know, let me show you. Yeah. It's going to be like this. And it broke a bunch of rules. Right? So, so they moved me over to ATC. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.